Time now for better money. So many people save for retirement, and when they finally retire, they haven't really thought about a plan to stay retired using their hard-earned retirement money. It is crucial to have a plan to spend your money so you don't run out of money. Joining me now is Joel Johnson, a certified financial planner and managing partner of Johnson Brunetti. Thank you so much for being here. It's great to be here with you again, Kara. So we're talking about what we need to know, and you say there are four questions to ask yourself. Number one, how long do I expect to live? Yeah, and this is one of the most important ones, and it seems kind of a funny question, like when should I predict my death? And, and obviously that's a little difficult to, to think about, but it's really, really important because, you know, back when my grandfather retired, he was expected to live maybe seven or eight years in retirement. Now we've got a situation where if somebody retires at age 65, there's a pretty good chance they're going to be uh, alive at 95. So there's 30 years in retirement that we have to plan for. Very, very important. Brings up a whole lot of other issues. Yeah, and other questions too, like your second question, how much will the cost of living increase during my retirement? Right, and that's why the first issue is so, so important. You know, 30 years, let's think about back when we had stamps. Remember when we had stamps, Kara? Yes. And uh, if I bought a stamp in 1979 and then I bought the same stamp in 1999, it had more than doubled in price. So that's what we've got to think about. If we're going to spend 30 years in retirement, how do I double or triple my income? It needs to be part of our investment plan. And then you have to think about when should you retire? Yeah, and a lot of people are working longer, and that's why it's important to consider this question. Again, it used to be that somebody could retire at age 60, 62, and they only had to plan for maybe 10 or 15 years in retirement. That's different now, and people are waiting longer to retire, many times at 67, 68. Of course, they have to start taking Social Security at age 70, and that's the age that some people are actually planning to work for. Yeah, and the next question is, where should I place my assets? So that's really part of the plan. It's part of the plan. So once we think about, okay, how long are you going to live? What type of income do you need? How do we increase that income? Then the investments come in. So many people focus on the investments first. We've got to really make those investments fit the plan, help us get to the plan or get through the plan. And that's when to focus on the investments when the plan has been built. And you have a free offer to help people figure this out. It's called the Retirement Summit Guide. Yes, you've got it right there. So I want to let all of our viewers know for more information and to request your free copy, all you have to do is go to bettermoneytv.com and you can get this for free. Right, Joel? It's, got a, it's a great guide. We've got all kinds of other resources that are able, that you're able to get to through information in the guide. We want everybody to have a safe and secure retirement. It's important to get this information. Thank you, Joel, and that's better money.